Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Welcome to another day of triathlon training, promise. Uh, today's training, I'm actually gonna kick us off with, let's all take a minute to listen to Liz explain to me why she thinks she is a relatively strong cyclist off of not a lot of training. Enjoy this. And how old were you then? <laughs> I don't remember, but it was both my grandparents used to look after me on the holidays. And we literally used to go out for hours. I used to go out for like, oh, just driving around in it, pedalling in it. And that, so I was just constantly pedalling. And that's why you, and that's why you struggle on a bike now, is it? Yeah. Okay. Do you agree? I'm not sure. So she doesn't, at the point of recording, she doesn't know I recorded that or that it's going to be in the video today. But um, yeah, let me know down below. Was it, is the secret to Liz's cycling success? I'll probably put that in the title. Is it because she used to ride a go-kart when she was a child? Maybe it is. <laughs> Maybe that's what I've done wrong. Anyway, today's training. There's no good lighting in this house apart from this room is sort of half okay. So you'd be glad to know, in true influencer style, I bought one of those silly ring light things to use over Christmas, so look forward to that, won't you? But yeah, today's training, it is grim outside, it is raining and drizzling, it is honestly raining, honestly it actually is. So I'm going to go on the treadmill, try and do half an hour, 40 minutes steady jogging, and that's about it, so let's go. No, I'm not going to make you watch me run on the treadmill, I'm probably going to get topless, so you definitely don't want to see that. Uh, just want to check in and show you got a sweatband on. And honestly, it is raining outside, but see? Honest. Anyway, let's go. Oh, that was pretty okay, just pretty warm. Five miles, 40 minutes in a few seconds. Good run. Slightly interrupted by, someone must have come to deliver something. Somebody banged on the garage door as I was running. I was like, oh, and he fell off the damn thing. Uh, there's nothing more motivating than running topless, facing a mirror for weight loss motivation. That has really uh, made me think. I mean, like covering up my uh, belly. Anyway, run done. Time to get a lot of bike to eat, and then uh, bike session tonight, so I'll see you there. Good evening, I'm not on the bike yet, and it is 10 to seven at night. Bit different to normal. I normally get straight on the bike when I finish work. Finish work at five, straight on the bike for five past, ten past five, get my session done, eat, evening. However, end up working a bit late tonight. Liz is also working a bit late tonight, so I said I'd do tea. Also, it's now 10 to seven, as you've seen. Uh, veggie fajitas are cooking, uh, mushroom, peppers, some uh, fake chicken things, uh, wraps, obviously some seasoning, and etc. You get the idea. Uh, also, don't at me, right? We had some garlic bread left over. I know I'm making a bit of a joke about liking garlic bread, but there was one left over in the fridge that I don't think is on the menu at any point for us this week. So I've whacked it in the oven for a bit of a treat. So if heat isn't garlic bread, it is. That is in the oven now, just, oh yes. Oh God, just sizzling. Oh yeah. So, serves two purposes. I'm only doing an easy bike session tonight. So I'm not too worried about like needing food afterwards. It's just gonna be a super easy uh, hour spin. So uh, I'm just gonna eat now and then ride. I'd normally ride and then recover and eat a meal afterwards. And we're coming up to Christmas now. I've got two weeks off work and I'm hoping to stack some hours in training wise. So Liz won't be stacking hours in training wise. She might be doing a fair bit, but she shouldn't be doing as much time. I'm gonna try and get some brownie points in the bank for then. Hi Liz. Hi. You all right? Thank you. Welcome home. Thank you. This isn't even scripted. I was just telling them what an amazing job I'm doing. Uh, cooking tea for you. I'm trying to get some points in the bank ahead of next week. Yeah, I know. I send the fan off to talk to people. So it's just in the kitchen. Alright, get it? Anyway, time for tea. See you on the bike. Bye. Okay, so tonight's session, sorry if this is really close. Tonight's session is a really easy spin, like a proper recovery spin. So I'm in zone one, going to sit at about 150 watts. My heart rate's just over 100 beats a minute, so you know, this is really easy. This is a session that I'd probably miss out if I was feeling fatigued. Whilst I might be time crunched, I'm not fatigued. Like, I feel great, so I'm gonna cram a session in. Tomorrow, I've got a big session planned, so I just wanna keep that momentum going. Like, without adding any fatigue, I think if I take like a, a day off or a day off the bike, I sometimes feel like it takes a bit of time to get back into it, so I'm just gonna keep the legs turning, really easy. I'm gonna use this time to work on position, so really focus on the things that you let slip when you get tired, so when I'm actually hurting in here, even if I'm in DT position, I often bring my head up, I'm moving around more, so I'm really gonna focus on those drills, turtling the head and whatever, all those aero terms, just to get my body used to that. So whilst I'm not making really any gains from the waist down, 
making some gains from the way he's done. So yeah, I'm also going to use this time to reply to some of your guys and girls in the comments because um, you know, I often struggle for time for all those sort of little things as well. So this sort of session is great for me catching up on that sort of stuff. Might even post a photo on Instagram, but you're looking forward to that, aren't you? Thank you to Liz for coming here in the door because it's getting a bit steamy in here. Liz, I was thinking the paint cage nearly finished, it's not quite there. What do you reckon to get a go kart in the corner? Yeah, I love it. Sound for a little turbo. Is that going to unlock your potential as an athlete? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll even let you have a go. Oh, honestly, what on the, on the small one or the big one? <laughs> the big one. You're so weird. <laughs> let me know down below. Is go kart the secret to cycling success? Sorry, pedal go kai, more specific. <laughs> Thanks, Liz. There we go, that session done. An hour. Normalized power 133 watts. Average heart rate 95 beats a minute. It's all well and good, pushing big power, doing big numbers, big sessions, with races, etc. But you can't do it all the time. You have to do these sessions to recover because that's when you get fitter. So that, that if anything, was a, a super easy recovery session. Normally I might recover top end zone one, you know, bottom end zone two. However, I know I've got a big session, big test tomorrow actually on the bike, so stay tuned for that. So I knew I needed to be an absolute top four. So a, a super easy session is all I need to do, turn the legs over. So that is it, session done, video done. Subscription's done, if you haven't, click it already. Is that link in, Mum? That is it. See you tomorrow at 4pm. Thank you very much for watching. It's gonna get hot this weekend. Ah.